Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. Today, I'm super excited to announce a new Switch line by Ubiquity. And that Switch line is the Unify Pro Max. So this is gonna be coming in four different Switch styles. The Switch that we'll be looking at in this video is the Unify Pro Max 24 PoE, and that comes in at $799 USD. They also have the Pro Max 48 PoE, which comes in at $1299. They have the Pro Max 24, which is $449, and then they have the Pro Max 48, which comes in at $549. Now you may be wondering, did I just see RGB on those Switch ports? And yes, you absolutely did. And it's not just cool, but they actually have some functionality and we're gonna go through that in this video. First and foremost, I wanna thank Ubiquity for sending me this switch to do a video on. If you'd like to support my channel, I do now have Ubiquity affiliate links in the description below. If you'd like to hire me for network consulting, visit my website at mactelecomnetworks.com. Now let's take a closer look at the Pro Max 24 PoE. And this is our Unify Pro Max 24 PoE, and you could tell I already have it out of the box. I was really excited when I got this, so there's not really going to be an unboxing, but I'll show you what comes in the kit. You'd see the LCM on the front that says USW Pro Max, and then a lightning bolt, which will tell us that this is the PoE version. The first eight ports on this switch are PoE+, Plus. the second eight ports on this switch are PoE++, Plus Plus, which is great, and then the last eight ports on the switch are PoE++ and 2.5 gigabit ethernet interfaces. I really like that they've added 16 PoE++ to the switch as we're gonna be using it more and more. We already have the U6 Enterprise, the U6 Inwall, the PTZ camera, and their Unify Access gear that requires PoE++. On the end, we have two SAP Plus cages for our 10 gigabit uplinks, which I will be using. I'm gonna be replacing this switch with my USW Enterprise 24 PoE. And if you've been around my channel long enough, you know that that's my favorite switch. Well, now this has taken the top lead for that. This is a wicked switch and I'm gonna be recommending it to anybody. Now on the back, we have our power supply, which we can lock in our power cable. So all we do is put the cable in, and there's this little locking tab that we just push over. And now our power cable is locked in, which is a great feature. On the other side, we have the USP connect, which would be connecting to our RPS system, which I have, and I will show you that. Now this is the box where our hardware kit comes in. And as always, Ubiquity does a great job with the packaging. We could open up this hardware kit and this will be for our rack accessories. And then we have our rack ears and there's nothing else in the kit. Another cool accessory that we're going to pair with this switch is the ether lighting patch cables and they're 0.15 meters or 5.9 inches. These are brand new and within the box we get 24 patch cables. Now let's open it up. On the back we have this pull tab. And then on the inside we have some plastic packages that contain the patch cables. Now let's open these up and see what the patch cables look like. And that's what the ether lighting patch cables look like and I really do like the look of them. It looks like they're translucent boot on them, so that is going to shine the RGB through pretty well. You would tell that they're the slim style patch cables that I typically use on my network install, so I'll probably start using these as they're a little bit shorter and are going to look really great in our rack. Now the next step for us is to put this switch in the rack and get all our patch cables in, the power cables, and then see it in the Unify Network Controller. Now I'm down at my network rack and some of you may have seen that I just recently cleaned this up. Let me tell you what's going on with the rack. At the top, we have two UDM SEs, and these are gonna be working in high availability using Ubiquity Shadow Mode. Uh, below that, we have a Ubiquity Patch Panel, and then below that, we have my USW Enterprise 24 PoE, which has been my favorite switch up until now. Underneath the Enterprise switch, we have a brush panel, and then we have my aggregation switch. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna rip out the Enterprise switch and put in the new Pro Max 24 PoE. So let's get started. Now we have the old switch out of the rack, we need to put the new switch in and I'm gonna be mounting these with rack studs instead of traditional cage nuts. After that, we'll end up cabling it all up with our new ether lighting patch cables and we'll hook up our DAC cable.
We have the switch powered on and you can see the RGB going back and forth. Now we need to get the ether lighting cables plugged into my patch panel down to the switch. Okay, and you can see that we now have the USW Pro Max PoE in the switch and some of the RGB is currently glowing. So there's a couple different things that we could do with the RGB on the switch. Right now it is just showing us our port speed. So these white lights, that will mean that it's gigabit or 10 gigabit. These amber lights will be 100 megabit. And then these blue lights, those are going to be 2.5 gigabit. We could also change the color on the SFP port and we'll show it in the dark so that you could get a better picture. Another thing we could do with the RGB, we could set it to a network. So we could have, say, our camera network being blue. We could have our VoIP network being red, so on and so forth. So that's really cool. And we'll take a look at it in the software. Now at the back, I do have the RPS cable plugged in, which is great. So that will give me the redundant power supply and then you could also see that I have the locking power in so now let's go back to the unified controller and see the settings that we could do now we're inside of my unified controller and we could see the USW Pro Max 24 PoE when we click on it we could see some of the settings we could look over the overview and we could see the switch itself and then the ports that are currently plugged in if we hover over one of these ports, it will tell us what is connected to it. Alternatively, we could go into the port manager to do that as well. If we're scrolling down a bit, we could see the PoE power availability. So this switch has a max power consumption of 400 watts, which will pretty much do anything that you need. Scrolling down a little more, we could also see all the devices that are currently plugged in. So my RPS, PDU Pro, and some of my cameras and access points. Below that, we could see the IP, the MAC address, the device version, the uptime, and then we could see the temperature. So we're sitting at 44 Celsius, and it does have a fan, and the fan level is at 25. Now under parent device, this is gonna tell us what it is uplinking to, and that's going to my USD W Pro aggregation on port 26 at 10 gigabit per second. Under insights, it's going to tell us our history for our device and our clients, and then it will show us our system performance. And this is pretty standard with any of their switches. The new cool thing is the RGB for our VLANs and to show the link speed, and that's done under our settings. Now, the name that Ubiquity's decided to go with for the RGB is Ether Lighting, which is really awesome. You'd see that we have two different options. We have our speed and then we have our network. One really great thing that we could do, we could change the color to whatever we want. So we have fast ethernet being this amber, we have 2.5 being blue, and then we have gigabit being white as well as 10 gigabit. But if we click on the port, say the fast ethernet, we could switch it to anything that we like. I'm gonna leave these ones at default, but let's take a look at our network. Now under my network, I have six different VLANs. We have default, we have YouTube, we have Dolores, we have 74.156, camera and Chantel. So we can switch these to whatever color we want. And I'm gonna to try to do some that are fairly bright. So I'll click on my default and we'll leave this one to blue, but the YouTube test, I'll put this to more of a purple. The Dolores will leave at green. 74156 will do this more of a red. The camera will end up doing a yellow. And then for Chantel, we'll just leave that as is and we'll apply the changes. Now looking under the port manager of the switch, you could see that I have a few devices that are running on 100 meg per second. We have a couple that are gig, and then we have my two access points that are running at 2.5 gig. I also have two switches that are using PoE++, and those are my USW flex switches that power up my cameras. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put some of these devices in different networks than they're supposed to be in, just so we could see the RGB. These ones I'll leave at default, and then these next two, we're gonna switch over, and we'll put that at the 74156 network. Number 12 and number 16, we're gonna move that over to the Dolores network. Number 19, we'll put over to the Chantel network, and then number 20, we'll do it onto the YouTube test network. This way, we should be able to see what all the colors look like. We're also gonna be looking at the RGB for the link speed. So you could only do one or the other, either looking at the RGB for the link speed or for your different VLANs. Now that we've seen the RGB, I'm gonna go ahead and switch it over to the network to see the different colors for the VLANs. And I've already applied it in the software and these colors should change momentarily. And look at how cool that is. We could tell the different colors. The camera might not be picking it up that well, but it does look pretty awesome. There is this soft glow that goes in and out, which is really cool. 
There is one other thing that we could do where we could locate a port and I'll show you that now. In the Unify Network Controller, I put it to show us where port 6 is and you could see that it's blinking right now and that will make it very easy to identify. Now let's take a moment to appreciate the colors in the dark. Now for the most important question of them all, do I recommend this switch? And heck yes, I do. It comes in at the same price as the Enterprise 24 PoE, but gives us PoE++ in the switch. The RGB not only is cool, but it gives us some awesome functionality. And those ether lighting cables, I really do like, and I'm gonna start deploying them every install. If you have any questions about the Unify Pro Max 24 PoE, let me know down in the comments below. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.